So we are asked to find x. This is psychogeometry. So to solve questions involved in psychogeometry, we must be familiar with some theorems. Now if you look at this cycle, a line CD touches the cycle at T. Now a line that touches a cycle at T is a tangent to the cycle. It does not intersect, it touches. Now there's a theorem that says if a line touches a cycle and from the point of contact a chord is drawn, that the angle in which this chord makes with the tangent to the cycle, which is A, is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. So we're going to use this theorem to solve this. So now before then, what do you know is a chord? A chord is a straight line that connects any two points in a cycle. And its connection demarcates the cycle into two segments. This is the minor segment and this is the word major segment. So the angle made here is one segment. The angle made here is in the major segment. The minor segment and the major segment. So they are alternate segments. So we're going to use this to actually solve this. So what do we do? Now, we can see that line TB is a chord. It makes an angle of 56 with a tangent to the cycle at point T. So now, what does it mean? This region, if we shade it, is the minor segment. Alternate to it is the major segment. So the chord makes an angle in the alternate segment equal to the angle in which the chord makes with the tangent. So here becomes 56 degree. Remember the theorem. The angle in which the chord makes with the tangent of a cycle equals to the angle in the alternate segment. So if here is 56, you also have here is 56. Now, how do we get x? Now, we see that line AB and line CD are parallel. So it means that when there's a transversal between two parallel lines, if you have two parallel lines like this, they are parallel, and you have a transversal, the angle made here will be alternate to the angle made here. So what does it mean? If here is 56, also here is also 56. So your x is equal to what? 56 degree. Follow for more.